it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. I've moved into my St. Augustine house in Florida. It's been about two months so I wanted to do an update and I have been taking little clips over the past two months whenever I went to pick up something for like home decor and I've mostly been thrifting finding antique items like this couch which I love. So in this vlog you'll be seeing some of those moments and also some little home DIYs. But warning, my place is not decorated at all. It is a mess. We are definitely doing it slowly and uh, it's so expensive to do it all at once. So yeah, I'm just looking for good deals and when I find it, I add it to this vlog that you're seeing. So hopefully you enjoy and Tyler's new job, he just finished his first week. So we're headed to the old part of St. Augustine to celebrate and just have a fun day. So I thought I would bring you along and I'm currently eating my favorite lunch. This is a veggie hemp bowl. It's like a vegan heat up bowl. And this is what I do to cut down on dishes. So peak lazy. But anyways, let's head to Old Town. Oh, oh, so good. So I just sprayed this gorgeous perfume by Penhaligans. This is the new one I was sent. It is, oh, me and Tyler both love it so much. It's really bumpy. <laughs> just got the ice shaken espresso one <laughs> and then Tyler got the pistachio frappuccino I want to try it oh it is good yeah it's really good the almond milk yeah I don't know what I expected pistachio to taste like but it's good I'll get them We're on St. George Street and we're walking around. I wanted to give an outfit of the day. So this shirt is new from Free People. And then I thrifted this skirt. Every single area is just so unique and stunning. Oh, I love it here. We're gonna go look at some of the antique shops and see what they got. Probably more overpriced in this area though. We're gonna feed the fish. Sharing. Let's see if they'll come. Oof. Come on, Go for it. Go for it. Oh, that's Our cheeses. Mm. Oh, hi, child. <laughs> we are at a Spanish fort right now, just walking around. It's so pretty. I feel like this is very like Pride and Prejudice open field. Reminds me of the Freddy Fish game. If you know, you know. Got home and had a bubble bath with my favorite shower gel. This is Fairy Tale by Bath and Body Works, and it smells like pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, and vanilla and warm amber. And now some of the decor in process. We're figuring out decorating, so I know which room I'm gonna be filming in, and I wanna make like some sort of set, but I'm not very good at this. I know I wanna film against this wall, and then I wanna use my old mannequin, but I'm gonna antique it. So this is my DIY without actually knowing how to do it. Thank you. We set down some paper. I have self-tanner on, so I'm wearing like nothing. I went to Ace Hardware and got a metallic gold spray paint and then a chocolate brown. So I layered the gold and then stippled over, creating some discoloration with the brown. Instead of spraying directly with the deeper shade, I just sprayed it on paper and then used a brush. 
And this color matches the mirror I have in the set. And I just got this couch that's more of like an antique white. So I also got this shabby chic paint. And then I decided to add a couple different of my favorite pictures from a 1965 Seventeen magazine, I believe. That is what we have going on and let's see how it looks in the backdrop. This picture by Lost Lands Collections, I'm wearing an amazing Fiori corset. Some Chanel and pearls. And then fluffy pillows are from Target. Thrifted this cute little lace vintage pillow. Coming up is I placed an order from Target for a rug that's brown and matches some of the pattern on the 1930s couch and then some ruffled white curtains, as well as pink bows on the other side of the room, which I haven't shown you guys yet. So that is all the progress I have so far. In the meantime, I've been hitting up the antique stores, which is such a cool part about living in St. Augustine, Florida. And another room we started to decorate is the dining room because we found this amazing dining room set. I love it. I did a poll if I should like paint it white and most people said no. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. And then I was trying to think of like, how to jazz up this room. I wanna get kind of a fancy chandelier and organize some china. We just picked up hey, another right? antique. Nope. No. <laughs> no, we've got her address in there. But it's all covered right now, but I can't wait to show you guys. Ooh, this chandelier. We're gonna drive real slow. Are you having fun? This is fun. <laughs> I'm hoping that the court is enough for for just that space. Okay. We still have to paint this wall the lighter green, but so far this is <laughs> what we've done. It's a cloudy day, so it's hard to see. And on the left wall, we're gonna hang our engagement photos and I thrifted these frames as well and they look like a storybook. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some of my decor. I just filmed for the first time in a while. I have this Sophia Loren look on and I just sprayed the Too Faced Better Than Sex all over the room as a room spray, but oh, I love this scent and the bottle's really nice. And I, hold on in my mouth. I wanted to give you guys an update because I had a dramatic last couple of days. Well, Tyler had the dramatic last couple days, so I'll tell you what happened. Basically, Tyler had a cut on his face and it got infected. So we were kind of leaving it like we should have gone immediately to the urgent care before it got so bad, but I don't know. We don't go to the doctor a lot and we thought it'll get better. Uh, it did not get better. His face was so swollen from this one little cut. She was just like sweating, trying to fight it off. So we go and we're waiting and it's completely overrun because of COVID. Um, just people are coming in and out, in and out. We're like hiding in the corner because we don't want to get COVID and then the nurse sees him and she's like let's give you a shot of antibiotics in your butt and it should kickstart um, you recovering from this infection so the shot oh terrified me because usually it's like three seconds and done and this was like 15 to 30 seconds he's just sitting there and she's like sorry yeah I know this hurts the like medicine is really thick and then I go to get my bag and the nurse turns her back and starts taking off her gloves and Tyler passes out. So he's sitting up high on a doctor's chair and he falls forward, hits his face on the ground and then his head on the wood door. So um, apparently it's quite common to have that reaction, like your blood pressure drops and then you can faint after a shot like that. But she didn't tell us that and no one was watching. So he fell and he hit really hard and was knocked out. So the EMTs came, we like turned him around and holding his legs up teeth went through part of his lip and he bit his tongue really hard so it was all bloody hit his head it was not fun to see him just like face down butt up in the air from getting the shot and i just like pulled his, <laughs> his pants over his butt um yeah so that happened and i haven't really been filming because we were just making sure he was okay other things that are new i finally got my new journal in the mail i just bounce around topics real fast but I love journaling. This is how I keep organized. And how pretty is this? So this is from the brand Pipier. 
I go through about one a month. Here are some of the designs that I've already used up. And I also got one for wedding planning. This is a photo that Lost Lands Collections took, the same ones in the frames. And I'm joking around about this whole thing because Tyler is obviously totally okay. And let me know what you'd like to see on my vlog channel this year. I definitely want to do more vlogs. So if you want to see Q&As or Day in the Lives, Week in My Lives, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!